Welcome back everybody to another Python Pandas tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna go over how you can select rows from a data frame based on values in a column. The first thing we've done here is we've gone ahead and imported Pandas as PD. We're going to use the cars data set or cars data frame from the Vega data sets. To do that, we use from Vega data sets import data. Then we use data.cars and assign that to cars. And this will be the data frame that we'll use for all of our examples. Then we use cars.tail to preview the last 10 records of the data frame, which looks like this. Our cars data frame includes the following columns, acceleration, cylinders, displacement, horsepower, miles per gallon, name, origin, weight in pounds, and year. If you would like to view your data frame in an Excel spreadsheet, you can do that. Just reference your data frame dot to Excel and then put in the path of where you would like to save it. For our first example, we're going to go over how to select rows based on a column that matches a specified string. In this case, we're going to use the origin column and we only want to return records or rows where the origin column matches Japan. So to do that, we reference our cars data frame, then we reference the data frame column name, origin equals Japan. So if we run it, you can see everything that is returned are rows where the column origin is Japan. We get 79 rows. Now note that you can also use cars.loc reference your data frame column equals Japan. Let's run it. And you can see we get the same output with 79 rows. If you just wanted to get a count or the number of rows that are returned, then you can take all of your code and just wrap it in the length function. And you can see we get back 79. For our next example, we're going to go over how you can select rows based on a column that contains a specific string. In this case, we're going to use contains. So once again, we reference our cars data frame. Then we reference the column that we want to use. In this case, we're going to use name dot string dot contains. And we want to return any rows where the name column contains civic. Let's run it. And you can see we get back eight rows, all of which the name column contains civic. Next up, let's go over how you can select rows based on column values, specifically number values. So what we want to do here is to look at our weight in pounds column, and we want to return any rows where the weight in pounds is greater than 4,900. To do that, we use the cars data frame. We reference our cars weight in pounds column. Then we use the greater than symbol. We put in our criteria, in this case, 4,900 pounds, and we've gone ahead and sorted this by the pounds largest to smallest. Let's run it and we get back all of the cars whose weight in pounds is greater than 4,900. Next up, let's say that you wanted to select rows based on multiple column values. In this case, we want to use the origin column and the miles per gallon column. For the origin, we want that to equal Japan, and for the miles per gallon, we want that to be greater than 40. Okay, so we reference our cars data frame, then in square brackets, here, and here we put two criteria, separated by the ampersand, which is the same as and. Then for each criteria, in round brackets, in this case, we use the cars origin equals Japan, and we use the miles per gallon greater than 40. If you wanted to use or, you can use the pipe symbol, and if you wanted to use not, you could use this little tilde symbol. Let's go ahead and run it. And returned below, we get all of the cars or rows or records where the origin is Japan and the miles per gallon is greater than 40. For our last example, let's say that you have a list of values and you want to return all of the rows in your data frame that match any of those values. In this case, we just have a few car names. To do that, we use the cars data frame. 
Then we use the car's data frame column name here, dot is in, and we put in our list of names that we want to match. Let's run it. And what is returned are any rows where the data frame column name matches anything in this list. In this case, Chevy Impala and Volvo Diesel. There were no Toyota Camrys in this column, at least not exactly as we have typed it here. Okay? That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.